get over there. You've been wrangling on this job about two weeks now, Jim. How'd you like it? Makes me no never mind. Only difference between herding cattle and herding men is cattle had more sense. We got four or five kinds down there mighty greedy for punishment. Been back for their sake and helping. Well, they must have been pure careless somewhere along the line. Got a pretty quiet bunch this year. Haven't had any trouble with any of them. Nothing they can do, carrying that iron around all the time. I used to think it'd make me a pretty good living robbing people, but since I watched these crumbs, sure changed my mind. <laughs> Getting close to our time. The wagons will be over here in a minute. Clay, you sure of everything? It's now or never, Johnny. We finished the road job today. Back inside the walls, we won't stand a chance. Can we trust Red? That's what he asked about you. Johnny, you'll never see more money in your life than we're gonna get. Stop that cabin and move away from him, Clay! If you miss with that pick, you'll never lift another one. Johnny's getting nervous. He backs out now, he gets the first bullet. I've waited 11 long years for the next few minutes. It'll be worth it if you ain't been dreaming all this time. $30,000. They're watching us. Get ready for the wagons. Every man carry his own pick and shovel. Wait for my signal. Johnny. Don't do it, Baldy. Remember your wife and kids. Johnny, get Baldy's gun. You got sense, Baldy. Red, get the keys. You gonna take something with you? Sorry, old time. Hurry it up, Red. Johnny, let him alone. Driver, you and Baldy unhitch those horses. Hurry! We got appointments to keep. Red, get rid of that wagon. Pull that guard out of there and heave that wagon over the side. Get back. Leave us one of the guns. We'll make out. Not this time. Now get back. That didn't take long with these irons off. Ah! What you got? Go! 
off, you'll run them to death. Better them than us. Hey, I just remember something. I left my watch under the mattress. You want to go back and get it? Not me. We get that money, I'm going to buy me a million watches. You'll get it, if you can find your brother. I know where to find him. It's been 11 years, he could have double-crossed you. Frank never had the guts to double-cross me. Now what are we gonna do? We can't walk out of this country. They'll have every man in the territory looking for us. By the time they get this far, they'll be through. We'll walk up the river a couple of miles, come out the other side. Nobody will ever find our tracks. Then what, more walking? We'll find something to ride, even if it has to be a jackrabbit. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't run the horses to death. Listen, Red, let's get one thing straight. This is my party. You want to share that money, you play it my way. Now let's go in the water and keep your guns dry. Don't fight with them now, Red. Not till we get the money. Then there can just be the two of us left. All right, but let's one of us keep an eye on him all the time. Time for that. It's the longest bath I ever took. My feet ain't got no bottoms left. We'll be riding something soon. That jackrabbit you promised? This is cattle country. We're bound to hit a herd. Yeah, I'm just itching to ride a cow. You yap a lot, Johnny. No more than you. Could be you just yapping about all that money waiting for you. Waiting after a whole 11 years. You don't believe me, then get. Go on. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Clay? You'd like it if there were just two of us left, wouldn't you? I don't care one way or another. But I do. I'm not staying here alone with you, and neither is Johnny. You see, with the two of us, you're outgunned. While you'd be killing one of us, the other one would be killing you. I know all that, and you're wasting a lot of worries. If you help me this far, I'll keep my end of the bargain. You're getting a full chance, but we ain't got the money yet. You know, I've been going over and over that story, one part of it don't seem real. You get 11 years in prison, your brother gets some money. And you say he been sitting in Warbo all these years, just waiting for you? That's right. Frank's there waiting, and my share of the money is there waiting. How come you planned that holdup so well that you got caught and he got free? There were two rear guards I didn't know about. Took after me, shot my horse, and caught me. And Frank? While the guards were chasing me, Frank moved in and got the money. Nobody ever knew what happened to it. Nobody knows now that Frank was with me that day. Nobody. And that money's the best life insurance I got. Because if either of you turn a gun on me, you get nothing. Remember that. Did the stagecoach driver see Frank? I told you before. I shot the driver. Went there nobody riding shotgun who saw Frank. It was an Indian. He was creased across the eyes. He's been blind ever since.
clothes and horses we want. Yeah. Now let's take it easy so we don't spoil it. The coffee will have to wait, partner. You boys kindly get out of your clothes as fast as you can. Look at that food! That comes last. Go get their guns. You won't get far. We'll be where the posse that strings you up. In those suits, look out, you don't get shot on sight. I never could get used to them long guns. A horse, a pistol, and a full belly. I feel like a new man. You'd better leave this territory. You'll soon be a dead one. Ah, that's real yapping for you, ain't it, Clay? That makes sense, though. Come on. So long, jailbird. <laughs> How much bother to this war boat? Just a few more miles. But we ain't going there first. We're turning off to the left just before you go into town. Why? Playing it safe. No tricks, Clay. We ain't leaving this road. We're all going into that town now, together. And run right into the sheriff? By now, with telegraphs and all, he's had plenty of warning that I'm out. Just what are you thinking, Clay? We ain't ever going to let you go into that town alone. That's the last thing I want to do. But the first thing is to call on an old girlfriend of mine. She was going to marry me once. What's that got to do with us? Everything. We need a husband to bring Frank from town. She'll help us. You're pretty sure of yourself, ain't you? I'm pretty sure of the girl. You know, splitting that money up three ways, it makes less, don't it? You're forgetting, Johnny. We're just going to split it up two ways. Yeah. Racetrack. You got no cause to drive wild like that. Maybe the news I bring is cause enough. Well, spell it. Clay Hollister is busted out of Yuma Penitentiary. Clay? I knew you'd want to know fast, Mr. Fallon. When did he escape? I got the news yesterday at Morgan's Crossing. I think it was three, maybe four days old there. I came as fast as I could, Mr. Fallon. Clay wouldn't dare show his face around here again. He'd be a fool. He could be after that money that nobody ever found. If he does, you've got nothing to worry about, Murray. Haven't I? If he does show up, we'll have him back in that humor prison before I can blink his eyes twice. Where's Sheriff Brady? Over at the saloon, playing cards. Well, you tell him about this. I'm riding home. Murray, listen to me. He wouldn't try to see Kathleen, not now. And if he does show up at your place, Murray, don't you go taking law in your own hands now. What would you do? Sure gonna pop his eyeballs. Careful, boys. Four days out of prison is enough time for Clay to be hiding right behind that bar. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me a bit. <laughs> Somebody keeps jiggling my hand. You ought to take up some other hobby, Frank. Drinking and gambling, eh, Frank? Well, 
Well, man has his losing streaks. I ain't been very lucky lately. Well, maybe you'll have more money now that Clay's coming back. Clay? Clay, huh? Law wouldn't let him out. The law didn't have much to say about his getting out. He escaped four days ago. You seen him? Well, then you're, you're just fooling me, ain't you? You wouldn't be afraid, would you, Frank? Oh, of course not. You might be coming back for the lost money. Could be for that, couldn't it, Frank? Money? There weren't no money. There weren't no money found, but there was money shipped on that stage, and somehow it got lost. Well, it could be. That's why Clay's coming back. To find it. Then you gotta protect me. From what? From your own brother? Well, maybe he heard about all that money I won over in Cheyenne when I went over there, you know? But it's all gone, Sheriff. You know it's all gone. I... You saw me lose it. Most of it right here in this bar. You were a big gambling man, Frank. Word's out that Clay is coming back to borrow from his uh, rich brother. Oh, I'm, I'm broke now. I'm broke. Clay's broke, too. He is coming here, ain't he? I don't know. Did he get any word to you? No, no! And you do your duty, Sheriff. Clay's a killer. You gotta catch him and send him back. Would you help? Well, how can I? If Clay shows up here some night, late some night, he'll get in touch with you first. And when that happens, you'll let me know, won't you, Frank? No, I, I can't. You wouldn't want to shield an escaped murderer, would you, Frank? My own brother? Well, you can't make me turn in my own brother. Frank pretty thick, Sheriff. I'll always think he has something to do with that hold-up, even though I can never prove it. I wish you'd let me keep a day and night watch on him. Go ahead. Nothing may ever come of it, but then who can tell? Fill him full of whiskey, but don't let him out of your sight. Day and night? Look, don't forget me at mealtime. You know, Frank drinks his meals. I eat mine. <laughs> I'll send you relief, somebody. Right. Let's go over and tell Murray Fallon about it. He already knows, Sheriff. He's gone home. Could be trouble if Clay ever shows up around there. And he might. Well, let's round up a few of the men and ride out to some of the ranches and give them solid warnings. Clay shows his nose anywhere around here. He's got to be caught. Dead or alive. See that you aren't late. I'm going over to help him. I think he's in the barn beasting the buggy. All right. Will Father be home? Not until tonight. He went in early to meet the morning stage. I'm going to leave Pink in the stall for the rest of the day. All right. Here I am, David. 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 David, did you call me? David. David. Where are you? Don't hit him, he's blind! Boy, shut up! Hold it, Red. No need to hit a kid. We ain't here on no picnic. You keep quiet and you won't get hurt. David, I know that voice. There are three men, Joe. They've all got guns. I know one of them. You remember my voice, Joe? Clay Hollister. You've no right to be here! 
hands on him. You can't fight them, Joe. He's the man who robbed the stagecoach and blinded me. The mother in the house? No, she isn't. His mother's in town. She is in the house. And so is my father and Uncle Bill and the Davis brothers. Yeah, well, if they're all in the house, kid, where are the horses? They're a poor liar, son. Your mother's in the house alone, isn't she? She is not! Keep them out of sight till I get back. Go wash your face and hands now, David. How about a shave, too, Mrs. Fallon? Sorry I surprised you, Kathy. Maybe I can buy you a new dish before long. No tender words? No breathless greeting for an old sweetheart? You weren't paroled. You couldn't possibly be paroled. That's right, I wasn't. But I couldn't stay away from you any longer. So, here I am. Have you been in town? It would be a little dangerous to me, wouldn't it? Why did you come here of all places? Plenty of reasons. I want to see Murray. You want to do me a favor? Is he up there? No, he... When do you expect him, Kathy? He won't be home tonight. He said something about maybe he wouldn't be back for a week. Now, that doesn't sound like Murray. Good old solid Murray. He'd never leave his wife alone for a whole week. He had business. You think he'd mind if I slept here while he was gone? He'd, uh, he'd trust me, wouldn't he, Kathy? He'd kill you. <laughs> Could be the other way around. You're lying about Murray. Now, we shouldn't have to lie to each other. Not two people who were once so much in love. That's been dead 11 years. Has it? There's nothing here for you, Clay, nothing. I think there is. Three places. You, Murray, and the boy. Now, the Indian and... David, you've seen David? He's safe in the barn. Kathy! What have you done to it? You'll be all right as long as you don't lose your head. Davy, are you all right? Yes, Millie. Some old friends of mine. I told you to stay in the barn. We don't like it in there. Too many spiders. Besides, we got an investment in you, Clay. We got to protect it. Anybody else inside? No. Murray's still in town. When will he get back? She says in a week. Oh, ain't that a nice lie? We ain't got time to be gentlemen. When's your old man getting back? I don't know. Well, you gotta know. Don't touch her. Why not? Her husband's a man you want, ain't he? That's right. Then why waste time? Let's make her talk. There are other ways. You're still sweet on her after all these years, huh? Just leave the woman alone. Well, how about this fella? You're not in love with him, too, are you? You know when your boss is coming back? No. No. I just thought of something. I had to try it on me once, and it worked. Come on. Maybe this will wake up your memory. Clay, can't you stop them? Ma'am, all you or this Indian's got to do is tell us when your husband's coming back. I don't know when he's coming back. Maybe not until tomorrow. It depends on the work at the stage line. I still think you're lying. Let's see how much water this Indian can hold. <laughs> <laughs> now maybe you'll talk. No. <laughs> Joe knows nothing. He's had enough, Red. We won't get anything out of a dead man. Well, somebody's got to know. Hey. Maybe she'll talk if we use a boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. No, you let me go to my... Get go to my... Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. You can't let them do this, Clay. Not to your own... My own what? David, he's your son, Clay. <laughs> Murray knows all about it, but David doesn't. <laughs> let me go! Let me go! Let him go. I said let him go. Now what's got into you? This worked on me once. 
Because you had something to tell, they haven't. If they knew anything, they'd have told us by now. We'll sit it out and wait. Sit it out here? Hey, yeah, we can move into the house and wait, can't we? Yeah, we gotta eat. My belly's sure empty. Pick up the Indian. Come on, Captain. Come on. Start cooking, honey. Something special for Clay. And the same for me. <laughs> what are you gonna feed us? Hey, quiet, listen. Somebody's coming. Get away from the door. Red, get him in the kitchen. town that you're out. Came back for the money, didn't you? That's right. I came back for my share. I always figured you'd hidden it around here someplace. Well, I didn't exactly hide it, but you're gonna help me get it. I'm not gonna help you get anything. I think you will after we have a little talk privately. Let's go in the other room. Wait a minute. If there are any deals being made, I want to hear them. Red, do you want any of the money? You'll get it my way. My way is for you to stay here. Take care of this. That'll be all right. What do you want from me? I want you to go in town, get Frank, bring him back here. You get him yourself. I can't very well do that, Murray. Not right out in the open. I wouldn't live long. You won't anyway. We'll see. Bring Frank back, and I won't open my mouth. About what? The boy. What about the boy? That's why I brought you in here. You bring Frank to me, or I tell David he's really my son. You know it, and now I know it. You gave up every right to call that boy your son. I didn't come this far to do any bluffing. Under different circumstances, I might be sentimental. Right now, I can't afford it. It's awful easy for me to tell David. So what's it gonna be? You'd ruin the boy's life. I came a long way for some money I spent 11 years paying for in a filthy prison. I earned it. Nothing's gonna stop me from getting it. And if I get Frank? We'll never bother you again. You'll never come back. You can believe me this once, anyway. Those two out there. They don't know. I worked too hard for Kathy and David to let you spoil their happiness. Let's go. Very sensible, Murray. Very sensible. We're going to town. Murray will get Frank. We'll bring him back. You're going. That's right. I don't know what you two been cooking up in there, but you're not going into town without one of us. What's to keep you from getting that money from Frank and not showing up back here again? Smart thinking, Red. You go. I'll stay here and watch these two. And let me tell you something, Mr. Murray. When I see horses coming down that road, Clay and Red and Frank had better be on them. And no sheriff's posse. Or your wife and kid gets it. You understand? Yeah, I'm afraid I do. You just make sure they're safe and sound when I get back. Murray, I gotta do it, Kathy. It's the only way to get rid of them. Come on, let's get this over with. Joe, move around. He'll be here in front so I can keep an eye on you. Clay, look. Ryder's heading this way. Get him in the barn. Keep 
out of sight. I've got to warn Johnny. Get inside. If there's any shooting, you'll see it best standing right in front of me. It may be the sheriff. If it is, you play it the right way. Red is a gun on Murray in the barn. Don't make any mistakes. I'm sure you can think up something to keep us all alive. Sheriff. I guess Mary told you the news. About Clay? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Well, can I speak to Mary? Well, he isn't home. He said he was going to warn some of the neighbors. I, I don't know which ones. Well, that's what we've been doing, warning everybody in the district. Well, uh, how about a drink for some thirsty law dogs? Of course. Well, now, don't you go to any bother. I'll carry the bucket and all outside. Oh, no, please. I can't let you come to my house and then wait on yourself. I'm only sorry I don't have something stronger to offer. Well, right now, water will taste better than whiskey. Quite a kind, ma'am. In a hot ride. Big joke on us if he never comes this way at all. All clear? Yes. I have to get something. I'll be down in a minute. I want you to get out of this room and out of this house. You're not treating me like an old friend, Kathy. You know the sheriff's got everybody on the lookout for you. There's over $600 here. It's yours, Clay, if only you go away and leave us alone. I came for bigger stakes than that. After I see Frank and get the money... Where's my wife? Pick up the Upstairs with you Clay. You and a boy. Hey, they ain't making a sound. They always said once they're sweet on them, they never forget. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Sounds like Murray walked in on something he didn't like. him up. I don't want anybody in town asking questions. Oh. Don't 
be scared. I won't hurt you. You don't like me, do you? No, I don't. I'm sorry. I think you're a very fine boy. I'd like us to be friends. I've got no reason for that. Maybe you'd like me better if, uh, if you knew something very important about me. What he wanted to tell you is that he's a stagecoach robber, an escaped convict, and a killer. Is my father right? Your father? Yeah, I guess Murray's right. No, David, no. Why not? I feel all sick in my stomach. Can't I go up to bed and rest? You can rest down here. I won't run away. Why don't you let him go up to his own bed? This has been a terrible experience for him. I thought you wanted us to be friends. Go ahead, son. Are you sure that kid doesn't have a way out up there? Yes. There's a window. If he wants to jump 15 feet, he'd break his legs. Well, I'm going up. No, I'll take a look at that window. That noise was outside. Johnny, get them in the house. Come on. Aren't you?
David! I can't stand this waiting. Look, couldn't we, couldn't we go after him? You could still guard us. It won't be necessary. Looks like they already got it. <laughs> Are you all right? You aren't hurt? I'm all right. I'm sorry. You did your best. Murray, we're going into town now. Remember, Clay, if anybody sees you, we're all through. Nobody has to see me. I'll get us in town the back way. Red and Murray will get Frank. Johnny, don't let her pull any tricks on you. Not me. I don't go for her. Like Clay. Come on, we'll get your horse at the barn. Have you seen Frank Hollister? Yeah, he's up at the saloon, as usual. My cousin Huey from Cheyenne. Huey Jeb Martin. Well, glad to meet you. Well, likewise. Welcome to our fair town, sir. Thank you. All right. about time you'd have something to eat. Told me to relieve you. Well, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, we gotta be sure. All right. Let's see you later. Right. Clay wants to see. Clay! Shh. Clay, here he can't be. Here, all right. Well, you gotta do something, Mary. You gotta call the sheriff. You mean you turn in your own brother? Come on, Clay's waiting for you. You can tell him you wanted to warn the sheriff. No, I didn't mean that. But you, why aren't you turning him in? It was your stage line he robbed. I've got my reasons. Now quit stalling, Frank, and move out with us. No, I, I can't go. Yes, you can, Frank, and right now. <laughs> What are you doing here, Tom? Murray Fallon relieved me. He told me you sent him. He what? I never sent him. I never even saw him. Why would he do a thing like that? Well, I'll ask him. Murray and Frank. Who's that with him? I don't know. He came into the saloon with Murray. I never saw him before. I don't like it. You take a beat on the alley from here and don't let any of them out. Not any. Right. We're going in the back way.
You know why I came back? Where's the money? The money? Oh, well, I haven't got it here. I mean, not in town. Where'd you hide it? Uh, uh, Where is it? In the Tronson mine, the old Tronson mine. I took it there after the holdup. That old death trap? Well, we're safe there. Since the mine caved in, everybody's afraid to go in there. You'll go in, won't you, Frank? I'd be... Well, we'd all be fools. There's been new cave-ins. Money's probably buried by now. Down that horse. Yeah. need you, Murray. Drop your gun, Clay. We got you bottled up. You shoot, Sheriff. Murray will get it. That I promise. Don't try it, Clay. You'll never get out alive. <laughs> You better give up. If I do, it'll be after we're both dead. Go back that way. No, Sheriff. Looks like a real bad luck today. Doesn't look like he even bent a finger. Ah, uh, it's just a flesh wound. He'll live. Get Doc Appleby and tell him to come to the jail. Oh, Frank, it's so full of whiskey, the doc won't even need any disinfectant. Why were you helping Clay? I wasn't helping him. What would you call it? You knew Clay was in that alley. You could have told the Sheriff any time. Well, how about that, Murray? With a gun in my back. That's a real quick answer. You mean Murray was in with the gang? Doesn't look like it was any other way. Murray here came into the bar with that other fellow. He lied to me. Told me the sheriff here sent him in to relieve me. As soon as I left, he took Frank right straight over to Clay. No, 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 wait a minute. No. We all know Murray pretty well. There must be some explanation. Well, is there any explanation, Murray? Nothing. You were helping an escaped convict, a killer. Now, if you can't clear it up, Murray, I've got to hold you. You can't do that, Sheriff. You've got to let me go. Don't do it, Sheriff. Not after he helped a snake like Clay. He ain't no better than Clay. What was he going to do? More robberies? Do some more killing? Now, never mind. Never mind. Keep it. Hold on. Keep it down. Sheriff, there was another fellow with him. I'll round up some of the boys and try to pick him up. Well, we can't get him now. Besides, we got the main ones we want. Come on. Move. All right, let's go. Right. Break it up. Let's get through Come on, Frank. All right, Clay, you first. No, you first, Sheriff. Get their guns, Clay. You'll never get out of town. Oh, they got this far, didn't I? You didn't think I'd pass up a pot of gold that easy, did you, Clay? All right, Red. Well, Clay, let me get back to the house. For what? For Kathleen and David. I'll take care of them. Wait a minute, Well, listen, Frank. you don't need any. No, why aren't you going to the mine yourself? Out of the back way, I got horses. How does it feel being in there for a change, Sheriff? Stupid questions. Get us out of here. <laughs> Locked in your own jail. You'll never live this down. <laughs> hey. 
There's nothing there. They took the keys with them. Now go over and get the blacksmith and hurry. We gotta form a posse. <laughs> They took David. If you follow them, they'll kill him. Kathy, you don't actually think Clay would harm David, even to save his own skin. I don't know about Clay, but the other two would. In jail, Frank mentioned something about a mine. Well, the only one around here is that old Tronson mine. They could hold us off for days at that place. When I was a boy, I worked in the Tronson mine. I know every foot of it. I know a back way in. None of you can go. They'll shoot David if you do. Well, the boy's in danger whether we stay here or not. Wouldn't it at least be better to try to get him free? Look, Kathy, it's the only way that you... We'll go to the barn, saddle up my wife's horse. We shouldn't go in there. Even our voices could start another cave in. You got into the hide the money, didn't you? Get off the horse. Get in there. I think it's down there. Now what are you stopping for? Oh, this couldn't be it. I think we took the wrong tunnel. Let's go back. Is this it? I don't know. I can't remember. It was so long ago. I don't think you ever hid the money in here. Maybe he spent it. Did you, Frank? Did you figure I was in that stinking prison forever? In all your life, you never had the guts to cross me. Sure, Clay, sure. In all my life. Then remember, real fast. Remember. Drink up that much money. Not in 11 years you couldn't drink it all up. Those cards, Clay. Cards. That's how it started. I didn't mean to take it all, but just my share. Then I got into deep with them all wet. 11 dirty, rotten, lousy years while you lived on my money. You should have done this 11 years ago. The cave in. Get out! Go 
any further, they'll see us. You gotta think I'm alone. You keep your men out of sight. Be careful. Clay! Clay, are you in there? I told her what had happened to that kid. Wait, Red. That won't get us out of here. Yes, I'm in here. I want to make a trace, Clay. Me for the boy. I'll bet he's not alone. You let your own brother lead us right into our coffin. We'll never get out now. Shut up. Dad, don't come here. You know what I'm talking about, Clay. You can't do this to David. You know you can. Be a man, Clay, for once in your life. Let me take the boy's place. I don't care what happens to me. But if you harm that boy, you'll burn for it. Does it make to you who we hold? Let him come in. All right, come on in. Let the boy come out first. I gotta see that he's free, then I'll come in. We ain't falling for that. A kid stays with us until you get in here. All this talk, it isn't getting us David. Kathleen! You'll make it worse. Let's wait and see what she can do. Brought to sheriff, huh? And the whole posse, you're surrounded. You'll never get out of here alive. With you as a shield, I'll get out. Nobody will dare shoot. Let it go. Drop your guns. That's Joe. It's the Indian. He can't see us. Come back here. Come back here, kid, or I'll shoot. Trapped under a beam. Take 
take David out of here. Joe. your time on me, Murray. I'm not worth it. If I can lift this up, try to slide out. I want us to be friends. And don't forget. I'll never forget what I told you. What did he tell you? He told me I was a lucky boy to have a father like you. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> 